Social robots are robots that are intentionally designed to mimic cues, movements, sounds, whatever, that people automatically subconsciously associate with states of mind. And this works really well. Um, I first got really into this topic when I bought a toy called a Pleo. It's a baby dinosaur robot that came out in 2007. So this is the Pleo. The Pleo is a very cool toy that I initially bought because it has all these cool motors and touch sensors and an infrared camera in the snout. And it mimics lifelike behavior really well. And one of the things it has is a tilt sensor. So it'll know what direction it's facing. I thought this was, was really cool and I would show it off to my friends and I would tell my friends to hold it up by the tail because this is what happens when you hold the Pleo up by the tail. It mimics pain and distress. So I would show this off to my friends and some of my friends held it up for a really long time and watched it squirm. And that started to make me uncomfortable. I realized I would ask people to put it back down and say, that's enough, put him back down. And then I would pet the robot to make it stop crying. And that was really interesting because I knew exactly how the robot worked and I still felt compelled to comfort it. So that sparked a curiosity in me. And fast forward a few years, I did a workshop with my friend Hannes Gosseld at a conference called Lyft in Geneva. We took five of these baby dinosaur robots. We gave them to five groups of people. We had each group name their robot and play with it, interact with it. We had them do a little fashion show with the robots where they dressed them up in pipe cleaners and construction paper, just so that we could personify them a little. And then after about 45 minutes to an hour, we unveiled a hammer and a hatchet and a knife, and we told them to torture and kill the robots. Now this turned out to be pretty dramatic. We obviously wanted it to be dramatic, but uh, it turned out to be more dramatic than we expected it to be. We had initially thought, okay, there's probably gonna be a split of people in the room. Some people are gonna say, oh, so what? It's just a robot. And some people are gonna have more of a problem with the violence. Uh, and we wanted to ratchet up the violence and see how the split in the room changed. And instead, everyone just absolutely refused to even hit the baby dinosaur robots. We finally had to threaten to destroy all of the robots unless someone took a hatchet to one of them. And this poor guy volunteered and we all stood in a circle around him and he brought the hatchet down on the, on the robot's neck and people kind of winced and looked away. And then there was this half joking, half serious moment of silence in the room for the fallen robot. 